clocks than our clocks forward or back. I love the extra daylight. It's really confusing. Daylight saving time, there is no S, begins at 2 a.m. Sunday morning. It's supposed to save energy. Pushing daylight later in the day means fewer lights turn on at night. Benjamin Franklin, annoyed by an early sunrise in Paris, first hatched the idea. Congress then made it law in 1918 during World War I to conserve energy. We lose an hour of sleep. It kind of sucks. So when we jump ahead one hour on Sunday, that one little hour of lost time has a big impact. The number of serious heart attacks goes up 6 to 10 percent on the first three workdays after the time change. And on Wall Street, economists say sleep-deprived traders often produce large negative returns on that Monday, once estimated at $31 billion. It turns out that it takes two to three days, sometimes even, even longer, to make up and to, to adjust to that extra hour loss. But once we do, there's an upside. We're better drivers in daylight, reducing fatal car crashes and pedestrians getting hit. On the internet, some offer help with the time switch. Begin the transition six days before the clock changes. While others provide ridicule. You didn't just get off a plane from Australia? In fact, most of us will quickly adjust to this bit of March madness. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Los Angeles.